I'm telling you now, the K-1 Fiancé Visa will become the most powerful visa in the world. Let me explain. Hello, everyone. My name is Angelo, and I'm a passport brother who brought his fiancé from Vietnam to the United States. We got married. She's got her green card, and now we are living our, the next phase of our life together as man and wife. I am here today to talk to you about a statement I made in one of my previous YouTube videos where I mentioned that the K-1 visa will become one of the most powerful visas in the world. And I will explain why I came to that conclusion with some hard numbers. Um, but first, I need to explain that the K-1 fiancé visa is a non-immigrant visa. And it's a non-immigrant visa because the primary purpose or the sole purpose of the K-1 visa is for entry to the United States for marriage. Nothing else. It mentions nothing else. doesn't mention becoming a citizen. doesn't mention becoming a permanent resident. Doesn't becoming doesn't mention going to school, getting a job, anything. The primary reason for the K-1 fiancé visa is for entry, legal entry into, into the United States for the purpose of marriage. That classifies it as a non-immigrant visa. An immigrant visa or an immigration visa is a visa designed or specifically issued for the purpose of of entering the United States and then following the legal path to become a permanent resident, to go to school, to get a job, and possibly become a naturalized citizen. That's why it's called a, an immigration visa. So we have these two very distinct types of visas. So now, the K-1 fiancé visa, what men use it for now is they, uh, particularly single men, they use it when they travel abroad and then they meet someone and then they develop a relationship and then they want to marry that person, um, but they want to get married in the United States. So, the K-1 visa is issued to that foreign-born person so they can enter the United States for the purpose of marriage. The K-1 visa is being used now for that purpose, and many, many men, single men across the country are using it to get married because they're finding little to no available traditional women in the United States for marriage or waiting for marriage. And the problem is that many average women are hypergamous, and that means that they are looking for a man to uplift their status. They're looking for a man to take them to the next level and, and above. So many women are looking for that top 10% of men. And then that leaves average men like myself just out there with no one to turn to. However, we've made use of the K-1 Fiance Visa and the Passport Brothers Movement to find suitable traditional wives. Now, in 2022, there were approximately 6.5 million non-immigration visas issued by the United States Citizenship and Immigration Service. That's 6.5 million, okay? Now, a big portion of those, of course, are visas like the B1 and the B2 visa, which are for uh, work and for tourism. Um, and they account for about somewhere between 1.8 to 2 million of those visas. So that still leaves a, a little over 3 million visas that were issued. Now, in 2023, there were approximately 10.5 one million non-immigration visas issued by the United States Customs and Immigration Service. 
USCIS. That means even if all of the amount of visas or different types of visas grew, they still grew by over 50%. And that means that there's a big chunk of that 10.1 million visas that can be attributed to the K-1 visa. And that means that men, single men around the country have heard the call of the Password Brothers and MGTOW and men go their own way. And they understand that while they have little to no chance with American women, Western women, that they are a prize when it comes to dating women in other countries. And so they're gonna be taking advantage of that. And they've already seen, they've already made that movement. The shift has already started. So as, as social media and news media and television and newspapers and all these things begin to talk more about the K-1 visa and the Passport Brothers and other movements that are taking men out of the dating arena in the United States, more and more men are going to hear this and then get on that train that takes them to Thailand or to Malaysia or to Indonesia or to Vietnam and now even to Japan and some cases even to Korea, South Korea. Germany is another place, Colombia, South America. There are so many other places around the globe where the average man, hardworking, blue collar, honest man who, who wants to be a dutiful husband and take care of and support his wife, they are a prize and they will be respected. So mark my words, over the next few years, you will see on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok so many more women complaining about K-1 visas and men marrying foreign women and men leaving American women and how the, the pool of available men is even more shallow. And that's because men are going to be fed up with the double standards and the lack of appreciation and the lack of respect. And they're going to go to where they are loved and appreciated and desired. And so I give it a few years be before the word K-1 visa strikes fear into the hearts and minds of all of these Western women. Mark my words, it's bound to happen. Thank you for sitting here and uh, listening to my video. I appreciate your time. As always, thank you so much. Uh, please, if you have any comments, uh, leave um, a comment or you can like this video if you appreciated the information that was contained. And of course, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to uh, a thousand subscribers and if you are interested in the k-1 visa process i have a bunch of links in there that will help you chart your path uh, whether it's travel or if you're actually in the process of going through the uh, administrative processing so i look forward to seeing you in the next one and thank you very much peace out